October the 1st is the day of the intercession of the Holy Virgin and the day of defenders of Ukraine. These two holidays are linked by a long tradition that testifies to the unbreakable bond between generations of Ukrainian soldiers. The veneration of the Virgin Mary as the intercessor and patroness of warriors dates back to the medieval Kievan state and Byzantium. The Ukrainian Cossacks held the intercession in high regard. The Church of the Intercession has always been the primary place of worship in the siege, and it was on the day of the intercession that the Cossacks elected new hetmans, officers and state officials. Thus, in the folk tradition, the veneration of the Virgin Mary was inextricably linked with the honor of the Cossacks, the fighters for Ukrainian freedom. The tumultuous 20th century evidently showed the historical and spiritual connection of generations. Fighters for the Ukrainian state proudly upheld the Cossack military traditions. Intercession became a pivotal day in the formation of the Ukrainian insurgent army. The fighters for independence affirmed the continuity of their cause with previous generations of Ukrainian patriots by veneration of the Virgin Mary's intercession. Today, a new generation of Ukrainian soldiers is proving with their courage and strength of spirit that we are a nation of free and strong people capable of defending our freedom. Since 2014, in accordance with deep tradition, the day of Virgin Mary's intercession became a public holiday dedicated to the defenders of Ukraine. Millions of people, soldiers, volunteers, veterans, medics, are Ukraine's defenders in the fight against Russian aggression. All those who are currently defending their land, all those who have put their peaceful lives on hold, feeling personally responsible for the future of Ukraine. All those who are protecting their country's peaceful life with courage and bravery, as if with a divine shield. We remember the actions of all generations of fighters for the freedom of Ukraine. We pay tribute to all the fallen. We thank the Ukrainian defenders.